Morning everybody. It's uh, Monday the 29th, I think. Yeah, Monday the 29th of June, okay. Today guys, guys, let's get into the march. Okay, got a lot to get through. Today we're going to be doing the, probably back to front on the screen here, we're going to be doing the, uh, the OCL six simple strength and balance exercises. Okay. Six, what's this on your TV? Uh, keep marching, keep marching. Uh, just some challenges that say that you can do, uh, and you can do them again in your own time. Okay, but we're going to do a warm up first. We're going to do the pulse raiser, uh, and we're going to do the mobility. Okay, and then we're going to go at these uh, exercises. Okay, shocking outside today. Shocking, absolutely shocking. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Not a bad day to be inside. Even if you've got no choice. <laughs> okay, good morning, all. Morning to new people. Morning to regulars. Okay, I think this is class number 28 since lockdown. Um, so, some of you have been with us since the start. Okay. Uh, again, let's say 16,000 views. Okay. Uh, okay, guys, keep going with the warm up. Now, we need balance exercise, guys. We're going to need the chairs today. Okay. Now, Put whatever music on you want, remember? Uh, I've got 80s pop pinups on today, okay? Uh, this will be interesting, okay? Guys, go into the ankle mobiliser, okay? We're gonna need this for these balance and strength exercises afterwards. So remember, heel to the floor, possibly can't see me because of uh, the, the furry companion. Replace it with the toe, okay? Heel, toe, heel, toe. Guys, remember if you're seated, same thing, heel, toe. Heel top. You can work the arms in as well, guys, driving the elbows back, that's great. Make sure each time you lift up, point down, you really paddle the feet. Okay, so you're really getting the ankle mobilising. Okay, you're gonna need these for these balance exercises afterwards, okay? Okay. Yes, I can't see anything out the window today. Uh, I can't see the civic hall, I can't see the church, I can't see Tesco. Okay, it's a bit of a bit of a bit of a dank day today, guys. Change to the opposite side. Okay, heel. So, heel, so, heel, so, heel, so, so, heel, so, heel, so, heel, so, heel, so, heel, so, heel, so, okay, guys, back into the march. Okay, let's get rid of the remote control. Okay, so back into the march for me. So that's the first of the four mobilization exercises. Okay, so we're going to do the shoulder rotations. Guys, if you want to keep your cardio going, keep marching, or same with your seated, or you can just go static position. Remember, it's good base of support. Okay, keep emphasizing this. Okay, feet hip width apart. Okay, tummy pulled in. <coughs> Back straight. Okay, head up. Okay, so you're looking straight forward. Okay, and you're rotating the shoulders. Okay, so really getting the neck muscles. Leg muscles. Leg muscles. Leg up in the muscle group there. Uh, really getting the neck muscles warm. Okay. So I've got some tins, I've got my uh, resistance band, okay. Uh, so you've got dumbbells if you've got them. Okay. Change the direction. Rotating forwards. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. So as we go through, guys, I'm going to be explaining what we're going to be doing next. Okay. Now, uh, you're back into the match, guys. Now, these are available, uh, I can email them to you, okay, postage is a bit of a problem, because uh, I haven't got any envelopes, uh, and the post office is shut today, apparently, we're on the roses anyway. Um, so remember, rotate forwards now, rotate forwards, okay, so keeping the feet going if you want to keep the cardio, the blood pumping and the muscles warm, okay. So if you can message me, like I said, I can send these out to you via email, okay, uh, the same with the home exercise booklets, okay. Obviously the bands and the DVDs, I'll need to drop them off, okay. Uh, so just drop me a message, uh, or just let me know and I'll, I'll, do, I'll send you a message on Messenger, okay. So don't put any email addresses, telephone number or anything on here. Just message me and then I'll sort it out from there. Okay guys, the next mobilization exercise, remember, uh, is gonna be the side bends. So from the hips, down towards the sides of the knees, okay. And opposite side. Side. Okay, when they're stopping in the middle, so a moment to look forward. Okay, and then you're reaching down. Okay, 
just a few fingers are level with your knees. Okay. So if you see two guys, remember you're going to reach down towards the floor. Okay. Okay. Now guys, if you want a bit more of a cardio workout, um, then uh, have a look at some of the other classes that we've done. Okay. Uh, most probably Wednesday or Friday we'll do a bit more cardio, but I just wanted to do this um, this little challenge and balance test with you today. Go. Okay guys, back into the march again. Back into the march. We've got one more mobilization exercise. Okay, no we need in the chair. Okay. Um or a stool. Um, coffee table is it? Coffee table is Okay. Okay, so bring the arms up. Okay, remember guys, keep your feet moving. Uh, this one though, static position, okay, so back to the middle. Change sides, okay. So the idea is that you keep a good base of support, keep them hips facing forward, okay. And up to the side, back to the front, and then the opposite side, okay. So you're really turning at the waist here. You're not turning at the legs, you're turning at the waist each time you do it, okay. So it's going to be stretching out the ribs, stretching out the back, okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay, bring the elbows up if you like. Them on the chest, okay. And guys, you're all working at different levels, uh, so go at your own pace, okay. Okay, uh, one more, okay, brilliant. A little bit more of a match, guys, because we're still getting the heart and the lungs going, we're still getting the blood pumping, we're still getting the muscles warm at the moment, okay. Um, I have got to go out this afternoon, uh, get some different appointments, same side. Take a brolly. <laughs> okay. Okay. Guys, bring that down to a stop. Guys, we're going to need the chair. Excuse me, my little furry foot. No? Okay, guys, let's get the chair. Come on, Sky. Come on, Sky. Come on, puppy. Let's go. Okay. Now, the first one of the uh, the tests is going to be the sit to stand test, okay? Now it's going to be for 30 seconds, guys. Keep marching, you've got to keep your cardio up. Well, I'm explaining, okay? So it's a strength challenge, okay? Um, we're going to sit near the front of the chair, placing the feet slightly uh, apart, well, hip width apart as we normally do, okay? And what we're going to try and do is sit to stand, okay? So you're going to try and sit and stand, okay? As many times as you can in 30 seconds. So I'm going to time it for you. So again, this is something that you can do on a weekly basis, see how you're improving. Okay, well, it's important that you don't use your arms. Okay, now you can have a rest at any time. Keep marching, guys. Keep marching, you can have a rest at any time. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna let you know when the 30 So remember, feet hip width apart. Oh, there's a chair. <laughs> okay, sitting back. And without using the arms, you can stand up. If you need to push down, you can, but the idea of the challenge is that you don't use your hands, okay? Now I'm going to time it, so I'll get the stopwatch, okay? So obviously I can't see you on here, but I can sense that you're all, all primed and ready, okay? Okay, so it's to sit to stand for 30 seconds, so as many times as you can. Now pace yourselves, okay? Because this, you could try and improve this over time, okay? And then I'll let you know how many people normally get. Okay, are you ready? Okay, get yourself into position. Make sure the chair's behind you. Uh, okay, I'm gonna count you down from five, okay? So five, four, three, two, one. Okay, guys, off you go, okay? So remember, sit back towards the chair, push up through the heels, push up through the calf, push up through the thigh. You keep going while I'm timing. That's 10 seconds. Okay, make sure you keep count. You can let me know how many you do in the comments section. 20 seconds. Okay. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay. How many did you do? Okay. Good. Uh, just simple test. Okay. Simple test, guys. Uh, next one we're going to do is going to be the, uh, the balance challenge. The balance challenge.
We're going to get some more resistance work done later, okay? So we need to turn your chair to the side, okay? Now 30 seconds again, we're going to go for, okay? Now the idea is that you uh, use a wall if you want, okay? Stand tall, feet hip width apart, okay? And then what you're going to do is lift one foot off the floor, okay? And see how many seconds you can do it for. So it's this position here, okay? So you're going to try and hold this for 30 seconds. Okay, so don't let the legs touch in the middle, touch the chair, then that's the point where you stop counting. Okay, and then we're going to do it with the other leg. Okay, guys, are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so we're already putting you. Okay, off you go. Remember, guys, try not to touch the chair. Okay, lifting the foot, it's the balance challenge. Okay, OCL6 uh, step challenge. Okay, so this is great for working your ankle. Okay, that's 15 seconds already, guys. I know I started late. Okay, so really feel that in the ankle. That's why we did the warm up. Okay, mobilization exercises before we did this. Okay, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, yeah, so feel that in the ankle. Feel that in the ankle. Okay, now you can face the other way, or you can change your chair around to the other side. Okay, we're going to do the other side. So remember guys, we'll make a little note if you want of how many seconds that you did uh, without touching the chair or without the legs touching, okay? Now I went strongest leg first. And so balance on the opposite, the one that you're not used to, if, you, if you're right-handed or you're left-handed, usually one side is stronger than the other, okay? So I'm gonna count you down again, guys. Let me just reset. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, and off you go, okay. So lifting the foot, okay. Make sure you've got your feet hip with the part. Just lifting the heel up towards the bottom, okay. Remember if you're using the wall for support, don't touch the wall, okay. Okay, really feel that in the ankle. Oh, hear that click? That's 20 seconds already. Okay, three, two, one and down. Okay, not as easy as it looks to be fair. Not as easy as it looks, okay? We're really working on the ankles, okay? Now guys, let's have a little march. Well, I'll tell you a little bit more about the, uh, the strength challenge, okay? So, uh, the average number of sit to stance, the one where we sat down for 30 seconds, uh, for 60, 60, 17 times for a 60 year old, 15 times for a 70 year old, and 11 times for an 80 year old, okay? So you can work on that. Okay, I've thrown this one at you a little bit today, okay? Uh, so I'll just start letting you know about that, okay? So 17 times 15 and 11. So it goes down as every 10 years that you get older a little bit. So it's important that you work on them, okay? You guys keep marching, okay? Now, some of the exercises they already do, we've already done the sit to stand, okay? Which is exercise number one. Uh, and we've done the, the balance, so we need to do some heel raises, guys. So what we're going to do, we do these before, okay, so you don't need the chair, okay, same again. Let's go up onto the toes and back down onto the floor. So up onto the toes, back down so your heels are flat on the floor again, okay. So again, really, today we're really working the ankle and the hips, okay. Really working on that balance. Good for your posture, good for your balance, okay? Good for functional things like walking, going up and down stairs, getting in and out of the chair. Okay. So remember guys, in between these exercises, make sure you keep marching if you're wanting to get your heart and your lungs, get your cardio going, okay? Okay, cool. Now we're gonna do the opposite now. So if you want a chair here for support, at the side or um, in front of you, Okay, put the chair in the front if you want. And this time I'm gonna lift the toes up, okay? So you're gonna lift your toes up, so you're gonna go back, so you're on your heels. You try and keep, this good base of support, try and keep upright if you can. So you're not leaning back, you're not leaning forward, okay? And you're just going back onto your heels and lifting the toes. Then place the toes back to the floor. Okay, lift, away. Okay, I don't know if you can see me on the camera there. I'm just lifting the toes, okay? 
place them back down. Okay. So you're getting used to going backwards. Watch it there for a minute, guys. Okay, I didn't fall over. <laughs> if I did, I got up pretty quick, to be fair. Okay. Now, the next one, guys, uh, is number four. So you're going to stand with your hip width apart, uh, hip feet, hip width apart, okay? And what we're going to do is a heel to toe stand. So this is here for balance if you need it. Okay, what you're going to do is just place your toes out to the front. Okay. And then round to the rear. Okay. So it's got a roadside breath test. I'm not seeing if you've been on anything dodgy. Okay. Heel to toe. Okay. And replace. Okay. Good. I'm placing the heel of the front foot on the toes of the rear foot. Then reverse it. Place the toes. Then if the rear leg touches the heel of the front leg, okay. So good balance exercise, okay. If you do need watching the telly, looking out the window, at the rain, okay. And then the opposite one. Okay, one more. Okay. Okay. Good. Come back to that good base of support again. Feet hip width apart. Let's change on to the other side. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be the same again. Okay. Not really touching the nose or anything like that. Okay. okay. So remember that's only there to support if you need it. So you're placing the heel of the front foot to the toes of the rear foot and then come round to the back. Okay, so you're coming back slightly, placing now the toes of the rear foot onto the heel of the front foot. Okay, keep it going. Now guys, if you want to keep your cardio going with this one, you can, instead of doing these exercises, uh, you can keep with the marching, okay? Bringing the knees up, okay? With a nice pace on, okay? It's up to you guys, but remember, try and introduce different things, okay? So, uh, try and make the sessions varied. Okay, like I say, we've done 28 of these now. Um, so, just try and keep it a bit fresh. Okay, another one. Okay. And back to the rear. Hopefully at this point you haven't fell over, but you've got the chair there if you need it for support. Okay. Now we're going to try the one leg stand. Okay. So we'll stay with the same leg while it's here. Okay. And the name of the game is to uh, yeah, feet hip width apart, legs slightly bent. Okay. And you're going to lift up to the heel and back down. So the purpose is you bend places back into the same position. Okay. So balance, lift the heel up. Place it back down in the same position. Okay. So you're going with the outer leg each time. Okay, no, try not to get too much side with movement going if you can. Okay. And you're just holding for a couple of seconds each time that you go up. Okay. Yeah. So it's very much on the supporting leg. Okay. So we're trying to do eight to ten of each of these exercises. One more guys, oh, hold it, Ooh. Right down. change back onto the other side guys, now you can also feel these in the, below, in the bottom of your feet, okay, in your toes as well as the ankles, okay, so we're really working on those stabilisation exercises today, okay, um, you can't just see the feet on this, so we'll try the other leg, so again, this is here for support or you can use a wall, okay, but the idea is not to touch, then lift your heel up, hold a couple of seconds, then place it back to the same place, okay? Okay, lift up, a couple of seconds, place it down here, that's two. Okay, up. Okay, three. Now guys, as you work on these, you can aim to hold each one a little bit longer, okay? Four. Okay. Really feel it in the ankle, bottom of the sole of the feet, toes, okay, really getting that balance. Okay, now I've lost count, I think this is six. <laughs> okay, let's flip it up a bit. Seven, 
really feel this on the bottom of the foot actually. Ooh. Eight. Nine. When we're placing it, back to the same position on the floor. Just one more, guys, one more. Up here. Okay, cool. Right, I'm really feeling that in the ankles, I'm really feeling that in the soles of the feet. The soles are helping the balance as well. Okay, we've got used to going forwards, onto the soles, back onto the heels. Okay, lifting the leg. Okay, doing the heel to toe movement. Okay. Now, there's one that we haven't done, which is the heel to toe walking. Okay. So, this is a bit like a, uh, a test. Okay, so if you ever get stopped. Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to come towards the camera and then backwards, okay? Okay, but we're going to turn now. We're not going to go backwards, okay? So heel to toe. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. My room's not big enough. Seven, if you can, guys. Eight, nine. And ten. <laughs> okay, let's reverse it round, guys. You're going to go back towards the chair now, okay? Uh, it's a bit difficult, like I said, because we're doing this in the house, okay? Um, but we'll try and do the ten steps back, okay? So if you turn yourself around, okay? Well, let's go, ten steps. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, slowly turn it around. So that is the OCL six uh, step challenge. Okay, so that took us about 20 minutes, something with the pulse razor and the mobilizer. Okay, so you can do them once a week, see if you can improve, see if you can balance for longer. Or see if you can do more sit to stands, okay? Uh, or when you're doing your 10 repetitions, okay, just try and hold it uh, with the leg up for a bit longer, okay? Same as when you go back on the heels, just try and hold it a bit longer if you can. Okay, let's get some tins and dumbbells, guys, because uh, a bit conscious we need to do some strength. We've done a lot of work now uh, with the, with the uh, with the ankles, I say, with the lower half of the body. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll just do similar to what we did the other day. We'll just do some repetitions. Okay. So the chair's there for support if you need it. Okay. Guys, if you want to work your cardio in with this, just for the last few minutes. Okay. You can work in your cardio. Okay. Or you can do this good base of support, and you can just do the curls. Okay. So we work in the front of so the arms, the bicep muscle. Okay. So from the hip up to the shoulder. Okay, so you're just bending at the elbow, okay? Again, work your cardio in. Quick five minute blast at the end, then we have a stretch. Okay. Next exercise is gonna be the front raise. Okay, so this time I'm gonna place them to the side, come up, down. Okay, so you're marching now, guys, you're marching. Okay. Uh, arm force has stayed the other day. Well done to Ed, I'm passing his, uh, his recruit test for the Royal Navy. So we'll be doing a lot of this marching, very possibly today. Or is it tomorrow? Sorry, Jackie, I forgot. Yeah, but like a march, okay, so really heel, tap, lifting, the arms up to shoulder height, okay. Okay, a bit of square bashing on a Monday morning. Okay, guys, let's bring it back down. Okay, still doing the heel tap, so you can do these statics up to you. Okay, what we'll do is going to alternate side lateral raise with heel tap. Okay. Up, opposite arm and leg. Okay, good. Okay. <coughs> There's a bit of a bit of brain music. There's a brass band. Memories. 
Okay guys, let's take you back to feet, shoulder, hip width apart. Like I said, I should have this written on my t-shirt really. Or at least a sign around my neck. Feet, hip width apart, head up, back straight, tummy pulled in. Okay, bend over slightly, bend the knees. And let's come for the upright roll. Okay. So from the thighs, bringing the elbows back towards the ribs. So we're working the back muscles. Few of these, then we're going to turn them into kickbacks. So we haven't done anything for the backs of the arms. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's turn it into a kickback. Okay. Remember, guys, you can work in opposite arm and leg with a heel tap if you want to get your cardio going or keep your balance. It still works the thighs though, because you're leaning forward slightly. But make sure you're keeping that positive curve in your back. Just extending. Okay, so you're working the backs of the arms. So your dumbbells or your tins are going from the rib up to the rear. Remember, don't straighten them arms. Make sure the little fingers just pointing up towards behind you. Okay, as though you're skiing down the mountain. Slowly. Of course it'd help if you had skis on. I don't get too much snow in, uh, in people's front rooms. Okay guys, back into the march again. Okay, so we've done some shoulders, we've done some triceps, uh, biceps, we've done some tricep work. Okay, uh, we've done the back exercise. So let's work in some chest press, guys. Okay? So heel tap, back, heel. Remember guys, got some cardio, more cardio like I say, have a look at some of the other sessions. Um, okay. Get a little bit faster if you want. Okay, really nice, slow and controlled. Okay. Okay, should we do some shrugs? Okay, we've done the shoulder rotations. So heel tap again, shrug, back to the same position, opposite leg, shrug. Okay. Shrug. Bringing the shoulders up towards the ears, okay? So we're just strengthening the muscles that support the neck. Okay. Okay, time check. Okay. Okay. Another couple. Okay, really feel this on the neck muscles here now, guys. Really feeling this on these muscles here. Okay, okay guys, place your tins down, so have a little bit of a stretch. Okay, so remember guys, placing the arms. This time we'll do the push out, I think. So this time we're going to point the fingers, push out. Okay, so rather than in this position, we're going to go for the stretch. Okay, keep the arms slightly bent though, guys. Okay, keep it level with the chest. Okay, do the piano if you want. Okay, take it round to the rear. Okay, just touch the toe, uh, touch the toes, touch the fingers behind you and just lift up slightly. Uh, if you touch your toes behind you, bottom of your back is very impressive. Very impressive. That's certain the soleil level. Okay guys, take one arm out, stretch across, pull back slightly on here, little touch, tug on the here so you're stretching out the shoulder. Cross, pull slightly here, feel it stretch on the shoulders. Okay, so you're pulling slightly just behind the elbow. Okay. Nice, steady breathing. We've not really got the heart and the lung going too much today, okay, but we still need to bring it down. Okay, come forward into the hamstring stretch. Okay, so remember sitting that bum back, so we have a camera on here. I don't think we've got the camera right at the right angle today. So sitting your bum back, bending this leg, hands go on the supporting leg, this leg, keep it slightly bent, lifting the toes, sit the bum back to the chairs here behind you if you need it, or to the side, okay, you need something just to uh, steady yourself. 
remember the stretch is a little bit longer at the end, guys. Uh, we're not doing any developmental stretches today. We did all of one of the other sessions. Okay. Change legs. Okay. You can tell I've done a lot of ankle work today. My ankle keeps cracking. Keep that leg slightly bent. Okay, put your hand onto this one. So you're not putting weight onto that leg that you're stretching. That might over put an over pressure on there. Okay, place it onto the support leg. Okay, you guys come into the front stretch, placing the heel to the rear. Okay, remember those little toes and knees. The knee could look over the toes. Change legs, let's have the last stretch. Okay, so placing the heel to the floor, bend this front leg. Okay, the knee doesn't go over the toes. Yeah, that's how you go that time. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like the rain's in for the day. I don't have to go anywhere. I do, I've got to get a wig on. Okay. Okay, guys, so. Like I say, got these exercises, same with the home exercise, I can email them out to you. Okay guys, you can work on them uh, once a week, twice a week, see what you can improve. Okay guys, uh, like I say, I've got some bands, DVDs, uh, no updates on the leisure centres. Um, yeah, so, like I say, if you are going out, if you can go out, take a brolly. Okay, do a lot great. <laughs> okay guys, thanks very much. Uh, also, I'll si six simple strength and balance tests. Okay, cheers, guys. I'll see you all Wednesday, uh, eleven o'clock. Cheerio. Ta-da.